I think the, the biggest concern I had was how was the chamber going to pivot and accelerate, decelerate, um, change to really serve the members in the midst of a pandemic. In January 2020, David Pope became the chairman of the North San Antonio Chamber of Commerce. He knew it would be a busy election year, but had no idea he would soon be guiding the chamber through a pandemic. It really didn't take that long to figure out that we were going to have to work overtime and really kind of reimagine ourselves as a chamber and what we did for our members. The chamber, the chamber staff, we were calling actively to all of our members to understand what they needed, what could we do to help. Um, a lot of them didn't know, uh, but a couple weeks later they did. And, and they said, hey, we need help here. And so we were continually refining what we were doing to, to meet the member needs. And members needed help from navigating the Paycheck Protection Program to connecting members with available grants. The whole community turned to the chamber. Being a proactive business organization, the county and uh, Lift Fund came to us and said, help us uh, qualify applicants for a grant program uh, that the Bear County uh, had received. And they just needed muscle on the ground to get the funds out. And this was between ten dollars and $25,000 for these small businesses to help them. And so we helped 52 applicants go through that process to get funding because we had the ability to really connect with the business community. From Leadership Lab to ribbon cuttings, the Chamber adapted to the COVID-19 environment and delivered its premier annual events in a professional, virtual format. We're creatures that enjoy relationships, and when you cut those relationships off, even if they're more of a casual, once a month kind of connection, it's meaningful. I think that the Chamber, just like other businesses, had to figure that out. At the end of the day, it's about doing business. It's about meeting other people within the business community that are either like-minded or potential clients. And so we're trying to continue those connections as best we can. David Pope was incredible. It was a challenge for everybody else, I'm sure. David was just that leader that you want to have in a crisis. We made sure that we could do everything we can to preserve um, our funds to make sure we cut back on expenses. We didn't have to furlough anybody. We didn't have to lay anybody off. So staff was kept on completely through the whole thing. I'm just really proud of the chamber staff. I just give a ton of credit to them and they were the ones that really did the heavy lifting in, in 2020.